everyone welcome to my channel so today i'm gonna try and film my everyday makeup look that i wear to school it's really basic it's nothing fancy because i'm not allowed to wear makeup to school but i still wear makeup because i'm insecure about my skin and i have red spots everywhere and they're standing out even more at the moment because i just picked the shit out of my skin so it kind of had that coming for me but we we all do it we all pick our skin. And you're lying if you say you don't. Well, if you actually don't know, like, good on you. Like, I can't not pick it. It's really bad. Anyway, so now, I don't wear foundation. I normally just put on concealer, but then it ends up all over my face. So then it looks like foundation. So, lately, I've been using this Maybelline one. The Age Rewind one and I only just like put it under my eyes and it's got like the little fluffy the little fluffy applicator so I just put that under my eyes like that and then over here as well this one's in like the shade medium I'm pretty sure and then I just add it on my other spots so like pretty much everywhere but then it, it's pretty much everywhere but I don't like the feel of foundation because it feels so much heavier. So I just put this on because then it feels kind of lighter. I think it does anyway. So I just like put this on everywhere. Ooh. It just ends up everywhere. Like I don't intend to put it on everywhere. It just ends up everywhere. And then you normally have it everywhere and then you're gonna have like little s oh my god we'll just blend this out and we'll see how much more we need <laughs> so after i finish applying the concealer and it ends up nearly all over my face i just blend that in everywhere and then I go in with my... No! God! No! The Astralis Fresh and Flawless one. This is the shade Darkest Brown. But I think there's a darker shade than this one. And I'm normally that one. But I picked up the wrong one. So... That's my fault. So I normally just put this everywhere. Or I normally take a trans... Like a loose powder and put that everywhere just depending on how good my skin is at the time but this one gives extra coverage so I'm putting this one on today and you just do this to like set your face and I'm having such a mm, not such a bad but I'm going through like a bad skin stage at the moment where my skin hates me so I have and I get really insecure about them. So, and like barely anyone at my school wears makeup. Like I'm probably one of the only people that actually wears makeup. And it's just because of insecurity reasons. And I shouldn't be insecure, but I am. So this just makes me feel not as insecure. So I'm going to do it. And it's fun to do. Sometimes. When, when you mess it up, then it's not fun anymore. It's like not fun anymore. And like blend it down your neck because otherwise. And then. <coughs> excuse me, sis. After I do that, I go in with my little hula bronzer. For the bigger one, but just using this one because that's the one I saw first. And I normally just like bronze around like my forehead and around my jawline. I don't normally do in my cheeks because then I think that's just it's not as natural, if you know what I mean. So I just normally like go around my forehead so it looks a bit more tannish. And like I don't do all these steps all the time, like when I go to school, sometimes I just like chuck powder and concealer on and some mascara and like brow gel and that's about it like if I rock up at school with like nothing on my face that's I'm feeling a bit confident let's put it that way 
I'll sometimes bring it down here for like looking a bit too harsh. So let me just. And then I sometimes do my nose because we love a snatched nose. So we just go up there and we blend it down. I've been sick like for three weeks now and I'm kind of getting over it. After we kind of have a snatched nose. Ew, sorry. Just just checking for my blackheads. Um what do I do next? Shit. Mmm. Oh, and sometimes, so after I finish doing the bronzer, I'll highlight. I don't always highlight, but most of the time I do, because that's like the fun part of it. So then we, I'm using the Maybelline one. And I just put some on my brush. Where'd it go? That side. Let me just put a little bit on here. Uh, okay. Um, and then after we put the highlighter on, we do our eyebrows. I normally just brush through them. Like, I never used to do anything with my eyebrows. I used to just put like a bit of brow gel in or a bit of gimme brow. But lately, I've been filling them in like a little bit with the Precisely My Brow Pencil. So I just brush through them normally and my eyebrows kind of need some attention at the moment. So I'm sorry. And then we just brush through this like just little upward strokes to fill them in. And sometimes I make the tail like a little bit longer. But I, I don't want no like James Charles block brow going on like love you sister but that was that was the old days so no grudges I just do this to make them a bit more defined because I've got pretty straight eyebrows like there's not they don't have much shape to them but I just brush through these if we just try and make it a bit longer we try, okay? I never said they were good. So after I fill my eyebrows in with the pencil, I sometimes go in with a bit of gimme brow just to make it stay in place a bit better. And my eyebrows lately have been so uneven. Like, this one's longer than this one because the lady that was doing them mucked them up. And then you're not going to say to her face, oh, you muck my eyebrow up, are you? You're just going to... When she asks you, do you like your eyebrows? Of course, you're going to sit there and go, yeah, like... So I don't wear eyeshadow to school because that's just too extra. But normally, just if I am wearing makeup and I want to wear eyeshadow, and just be basic. I'll normally just put a bit of the hula in my crease. But if I am feeling creative, I bought the James Charles palette. And I've been trying to unleash my inner artist. But every time I try to do that, I end up having a rainbow mess on my face. And I really want to get better at it. And try and become good at eyeshadow but I get impatient and then I end up using the wrong brush and then I'll use a brush that I've already used and it'll be a different color and then it'll end up a big blended mess but I really want to try and get better at it but I feel like I'm pretty good at doing like the base of your makeup it's just like the eyes like that's like the creative part of it all 
but but I sometimes just like run the brush through my crease with nothing on it anyway to try and get the crease to not be have a crease do you know what I mean like have the makeup in the crease so after I do my do all that do all that I've done I normally just put some mascara on lately I've been using the Maybelline sensation one I also really like the benefit their real one and the bad girl bang but I've been I ran out of bad girl bang well I nearly have anyway oops so I just put this on I like this mascara because I'm pretty sure it's waterproof because I have some eye problem that I don't even know what it is my nonna has it though and it's like when you're like your eye just leaks randomly like I'll be in class and then people will be looking at me because they think I'm crying and I'm like sorry sis I'm not it's just like a disease uh, I'm gonna try and do I haven't d put on mascara with my left hand in ages because I can't move my wrist <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. This is harder than I thought. Oh, mm-hmm. That, that's done and I got it on my eyelid. So I've really been wanting to vlog, but I don't know what to vlog. And I feel like I'll just be really bad at it so I've been not doing it but I really want to do it but I'm kind of scared and so you should like definitely leave your thoughts on what you think of me trying to vlog in the comments because It might make me want to do it even more. Oh, and since last time, I got my car, I got a new cast put on. I've been able to have showers by myself and wash my hair and get it all wet, so it's just like normal. I just can't move it. Lastly, I'll put some paw paw on. To make my lips and I could have gone down my neck a bit we're looking a bit pale I haven't seen Sun in a long time I haven't been in the pool in ages because I haven't been going in the pool because of my wrist but I can go in the pool I just think it might get infected my scar might get infected so I have just been avoiding it in general you like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I don't know why I'm talking like this, it's kind of just happened and I'm not going to change it back because, yeah, so you can take these out now. So this is the end of my makeup look and I hope you enjoyed the video. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye!